We are live. Welcome to Obi Wan Kenobi Episode Four Thoughts. I really appreciate how the opening really makes us feel how hurt Ben is, and the show contrasts Ben and Vader in their back to tanks. Love it. Even in the Star Wars galaxy, a major character waking up in a hospital or ambulance or the like is shocked and trying to get away. Leia continues to be strong until Reva convinces her that Obi-Wan is dead. No one is coming from her. For her. I really loved... Yeah, I, I ended up not noting that. I really loved when, like, Reva... It seems like she's talked Leia into it. And then Leia... You know, she, she says, We're all on the same side. And Leia says... I'll do it, but I have to talk to my dad first. After all, we're all on the same side. <laughs> and they're actually going to try to get into the Fortress Inquisitorius. I mean, when they did something similar on the Death Star, that wasn't the original plan. The past is a hard thing to forget. It can hurt, but you can either run from it or learn from it. Yeah, that's right, I'm quoting an animated Disney classic. If Disney Plus MCU shows can do it, so can I. Very cool seeing an Empire installation up and running. I love that Tala plays the part of a top-ranking Imperial officer. Let's get past the top security guy. Like the movies, you know, this show is in part about showing why stuff like fascism fails and... This is part of it. You can, you know, if you are wearing the right uniform, you can waltz into somewhere you don't belong, say, I'll have your, you know, I'll get you fired if you don't let me in. And they're going to make, oh, I don't want that. You know, so, yeah, that's, you know, in, in a democratic society, if you try to get into somewhere you don't belong and throwing your weight around, you know, okay, so it's not always the case, but ideally there are consequences to that, you know. People can get fired for trying to get into somewhere that they don't belong by throwing their weight around. We get more details of Reva's tragic backstory. I am here for it. I, you know, even if she wasn't, on, like, if the actress wasn't getting all this racist hatred, which just, she didn't write the character. She's She gives a performance, you know. And the, yeah, just minorities are now in Star Wars. Deal with it. But yeah, even if I, you know, that makes me more likely to, to you know, really want to see people like that. You know, so, yeah. What's that saying? If If people are pissed off at you, you know you're doing something right. You know, it's... It's utterly pathetic that there are people who claim to love Star Wars, which was always about the good guys are a diverse group of people. If, if you really love Star Wars, you're not racist, plain and simple. Anyway, yeah, I, I really think she's a, a compelling character. Probably one of the best parts of this. Yeah. And Ben and Tala both have to deal with someone nearly or actually discovering them. I'm in. Maybe the reason that Reva could mind read so well before this episode was to set up that she's good at it, making more impressive when Leia resists it. I agree that it's still, it doesn't really jive with the rest of the continuity. But I think that might have been why. Holy crap, they come extremely close to actually torturing 10-year-old Leia. Dark. And later we see an actual youngling in, in the amber, you know, tombs or what exactly the, whatever exactly they are. So, yeah. And Ben takes out the power of the room and effectively sabers both stormtroopers from the dark. Badass. I do like a good liar. I don't know if you're lying to me or for me. But we'll find out. And both Tala and Ben use the walkie at a time when it accidentally reveals the other one. I, I will agree with people who say that this is a bit similar to the movie episode 4. You know, it's just... It's a different 
Empire installation, but it's still Obi-Wan sneaking around, you know, t messing with machines, and, you know, there's someone on the other end of a, of a, okay, so, yeah, that wasn't, in, in the movie, it wasn't Obi-Wan on one, on either end of the, the walkie-talkie, but still, you know, and, you know, the good guys dress like they belong in the Empire to, to get into an area they otherwise wouldn't, but eventually do get found out. Yeah. Anyway, back to the episode. Ben is using the lightsaber more effectively now, but still consistent with the last episode and A New Hope. A crack in the window. See, this is why you don't build your city for special people underwater. I mean, your base. Incredible tension when the crack is starting to let the water in, and Ben uses the water in the... Yeah, he he's drives the crack further over so that, you know, the, the stormtroopers get flooded. That's a quite cool... Yeah. Ben sneaks Leia most of the way out on, under the coat, which... I think someone... Someone really needs to... help these writers come up with more convincing ways for the good guys to escape. Because this episode, we have two kids in a trench coat. You know, I guess it was... Yeah, last episode, we had fire. And and then a ship just leaves when, like, the Empire has ships. Then they have a lot of them. Why didn't they surround the area, preventing other spaceships from... It's just... And, and you know, Leia could run... A, it's, yeah, run away from, from adults most of the time getting, you know, escaping them, so, yeah. And there's way too many stormtroopers, but they're saved by a couple of those rebel planes that they used to tie the shoelaces together and the elephant walkers. You were warned what defeat would bring. Now, that's a Darth Vader entrance. This show, this show is doing an incredible job on those. I love that at first, you know, Vader is like, you know, force choking her, and then he stops, but he doesn't lower his hand. He's like, Okay, I'm hearing you out. I'm hearing you out, but I'm ready. If you, you know, if you say something that I don't like, I will choke you. And Leia puts her hand in Ben's, very sweet. And the tracker is on Lola, the entire droid, seemingly now working for Reva. And the red light comes on, very Hal 9000. And, you know, also, yeah, red light signifies evil in in Star Wars. And yeah, I I like the episode. I'm enjoying the show. I feel like every single episode I can think of problems with, but I mean right now I hate to say it, my biggest concern is probably they are two thirds of the way through. This really I mean, is this it? Is all we're going to get the the? It's significant plot wise that Leia was captured as a child, but it just feels like you really needed an, an entire mini series, six episodes, several hours worth. I mean, this could have been like a a uh, another prequel movie, you know, like. Uh, the two that we got since Disney took, you know, th this really didn't need to be a, a show. I actually, I guess maybe the reason it's not is because they'd have to make the action scenes a bit bigger and more interesting if they were going to make it a movie. But yeah, it's just, I'm definitely watching the last two episodes, but I really do hope that somehow they manage to make it more meaningful without also rushing to the end. Yeah, it just, you know, I'll, I'll grant that, like, Mandalorian, it's, it's still better than Book of Boba Fett. And I will grant that The Mandalorian, it's just a bunch of side quests. You know, the, if, if you haven't already, definitely watch the pitch meeting for it. It's hilarious. I especially love the one bit. You're going to know what I mean when, when you've watched the video, but there's one bit in that video that just love it absolutely yeah but yeah they point out you know it's a bunch of side quests and that is obviously a bit easier to write than an, a great overarching story which 
you know, sometimes TV shows that try for an overarching story really fall flat on their face. And so other shows try to just go for a bunch of one-offs so that they don't get, you know, because if you build an overarching thing and like halfway through a season, the audience is like, I don't know about this. What are you going to do? Are you going to stay on that and possibly lose a bunch of audience members? Or are you going to go in a different direction and like basically scuttle everything you've or nearly everything that you've built up so far over the season? You know, so I get that. Um, Nerd Soup, one, one of the people on there keeps saying that this show should have been Darth Vader hunting down Jedi. You know, I think it's really hard to argue with that. I am enjoying characterization of young Leia. I kind of hope that we just get a Leia-centered, you know, maybe, yeah, maybe they're, maybe they're um, A-B testing and they're just going to see if people like child Leia, maybe we could give them teenage Leia or, you know, well, wait, I guess Leia was just, a, had just come of age by the time of the Aren't they supposed to be like 18 years old, both Luke and Leia? In, in I guess it would be difficult in, in A New Hope. But yeah, teenage Leia would be fine, as long as it doesn't get bogged down in teenage melodrama. But, you know, I'm, that's not a... I'm talking about how many TV shows get bogged down in that. I'm not saying that a teenage girl show would automatically do melodrama. But yeah, the... It's too late now to turn this show into Darth Vader hunting down a bunch of Jedi across the galaxy. I guess it's not impossible that they can do that next and just like set that before this, I guess. Or maybe this could lead into a Darth Vader centric show that as long as he can't find Obi-Wan or Luke he's and, and he can't get to Leia anymore, he's just going to go for other Jedi, yeah, I'd, I'd be down with that, I really think, yeah, the, the, um, I still have hope, there is, I'm telling you, Poe, there is hope, the, the, it's possible they could turn it around, and I do legitimately think these, I mean, I wouldn't call any of these four episodes bad, it's just that they're not living up to their full potential. And it's really too bad because they've got some great elements in there. Yeah. I, I hope that the last two are going to absolutely blow us away. And I do think there is a chance they could. I think it is not past the point of still making sure that the last part, you know, I mean... Next episode, you know, they can track where Leia and Obi-Wan are now. So that could lead to something really deeply compelling. Yeah. And hopefully no one will get prevented from following someone by fire, two kids in a trench coat, or a branch. A branch. I'm still, like... How did they manage to not catch Leia immediately? Like it just like I get it. They wanted to draw the scene out a little more, but like you gotta choreograph it better if that's good. like just have her like throw a rock at some at, at one guy's foot so he's standing there, you know, dealing with pain in his foot. And like yeah, yeah, she could like instead of someone just like running into a branch on their own. Like if this is the branch and this is her, this is her hand. She could just like do this, and you know, let go, and it smacks into the guy's hand. I think a lot of us would be, a, I would be a lot happier with that. I think I can't speak for anyone else. I think it would have been, just go full Home Alone with it. Like that's already what you're doing when you have someone that small successfully outrunning. Like there's like half a dozen of them. And don't they start out almost surrounding her? Like, how did that... Yeah, just... Seriously, just go full... Like, yeah, have the have the droid pull something that, like... Yeah. I mean, they've done that with, with both R2-D2 and... You know, R2-D2 in, in, in 
Revenge of the Sith when he like sets fire to the you know first he sprays them with oil then he sets fire to some of his robot brethren drowning out the screams with his happy beeping and in episode 8 you know BB8 I want to say it's called uh, you know shoots like ah what are they called like like coins from a yeah like just you know Lola's too small for it to be something as grand as our 2D2 or as, you know, certainly she wouldn't be able to store very many coins in there, but just, yeah, some, some kind of, yeah. Anyway, I do still, I'm still enjoying the show. I still hold out hope, but yeah, the, uh, could be better, could be better. Will be better, hopefully. So. Catch you next week.